Hello YouTubers and welcome to my favorite game of all time, Dead Rising. So, as I found out only about a month ago, I'm guessing as part of the 10th anniversary for this game, they released it on, uh, or they were going to release it on PC, and it came out. And I'm happy, because like I said, this is my all-time favorite game. And as you can see, I already played a little bit of it, like maybe 20 minutes or so. But, oh, there's more than three. There's five save slots. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, um, <laughs> those save slots are probably going to fill very quickly. But, uh, yeah, this is just all-time favorite game. Um, let's just get started. New game. Yay. <laughs> Super excited. Um... I'm gonna play more after the cutscenes, I guess. Hey buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Here she is, <laughs> Willamette, Colorado, population 53,594, distinguishing characteristics, jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. All right. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, favorite game of all time. The funny thing is, I never actually owned a 360 when this became my favorite. Um, I had to borrow a friend's Xbox 360 and I would have to rent the game in order to uh, play it. Until I eventually, years later, got an Xbox 360 just for the sole purpose of playing this game. That's how much I love this game. So... As you can see, right now it's kind of a tutorial for teaching you how to use the camera, which is it's part of the game. It's really helpful for experience at certain points, so that's good. So, yeah. It's basically snapping pictures of zombies getting whacked with baseball bat for extra points. Is this what you oh, came to take oh, pictures oh. of? And oh, I was too soon. Dang. Whack. Sure is. Mm. Hello. Yum. <laughs> no way. And check that out. Look at all those people. Oh, hello. hello. Interesting. That zombie in particular is... Its motions are very important for... Later in the game. So the plan is to not just kind of do a casual walkthrough or whatever because... No, no, it's not really doing it, but... Uh, the reason for that is because, again, I know the game so well. What I'm actually going to be doing is a... New Game Saint Run. 
which Saint is one of the more difficult achievements to acquire. And what it acquired, re bleh, acquire, requires you to do is save as pretty much the almost maximum number of survivors that you physically can in the game. Depending on which ending you go for, there's actually a leeway of a single uh, survivor, depending on how you do it. So, <laughs> ironically, there's a very high chance that I will forget one and have to use it up just because. Well, that's not really ironic now, is it? But anyways, I might have to use that one survivor leeway because I forget <laughs> about the existence of a specific survivor. <clears throat> because I don't like him. Jeez. But I'll get into that later, obviously. So we'll see what happens. I'll attempt to get every survivor. That... I can get while getting the best ending, so we'll see what happens. Hmm, so as we continue on with our lovely camera tutorial. Um, one other thing too is that the way I split up these episodes might not be the same as before instead of just doing like a half hour or an hour. Uh, because sometimes it's difficult to find good stopping points, especially if I'm in the, like, the middle of something like, oh, I'm trying to nap, trying to escort, like, eight survivors or something with me, and I don't really, can't really stop an episode because it's rather important. This spot in particular is worth a lot of early experience. So I'm pretty much it's just spamming for that. No. Haha, <laughs> got it. And now we're about to enter another cutscene. Reporter, aren't you? Yeah. No. You came alone. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, going the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well. If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little... extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if... 
everyone's already dead? Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. Begins. Yay. Okay. So I am going to have the subtitles on, and I guess the tutorials, just because that's how I've always done it. Um. I don't think I'm going to go, like, full walkthrough tutorial style that I did for the Resident Evil series. Um. I'll just point out certain things, like that pee-pee sticker. This happened last time, too. Took a little bit to save. Maybe it's just because it's the first save. We'll see. Um, I am going to do a shortcut here, though. Just to make sure that my audio levels are alright. I know in my last Subnautica video, I uh, was way too close to the mic. So I'm trying to lean back a bit more. But now I'm worried that you might not be able to hear me over the game. So... Anyways, rambling aside, I'll see you in a second. Alright, right back where I left off, so... I did lower... I lowered the volume of everything slightly, the game and my microphone, because it seemed that it wasn't... I don't know. Just, it sounded a little off to me. Like I was almost capping out the mic, I think. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but... I just decided to lower everything, hopefully make it better. As we walk along, we can hear the tapping and gentle squeaking of our shoes before another cutscene! Pretty girl, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now, they're all that's out there. Hey, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay. Come on, pronto. Right. Fantastic. You're a dick, Ryan. I hate you. So real quick, we're going to just take some pictures. We got a PP sticker back there, and we're taking pictures of the people. For experience and also achievement stuff. Let's see. Yeah, we got all three of them. There's another PP sticker that we can grab right now over here. I do not know the location of all the PP stickers. I just know quite a few of them. And so if they're 
not out of the way, and I'll just grab them as I go past. Perfect. It'll be okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Lindsay. I hate you. I want to kill you. If I could, I would. Look at me, Mark. Thank you. And then we'll take a picture of these two. Damn it! Every time I come shopping, Perfect. something happens to raise my blood. No, okay. So it still has the portrait along the bottom achievement. I obviously I already got it, so can't really get it again, Steam wise. Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. What the... into the gameplay for a tiny bit before another cutscene. Let's grab a few of these things. Just in case. Probably won't need to use that. Actually, I'm fairly certain I won't need to, but that's not the point. Yeah, okay. Oh, alright. Yep, I grabbed. That sucks. So the reason why we're clearing out this area is because there's something very important. Oh, got grabbed again. Oh, Frank. Thank you. That was less than perfect performance. Ah, fuck. Well, it doesn't matter which stairs we can go to, it's either or, so... Huh? Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. <laughs> oh. As long as those things are in the mall, we'd better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? <sighs> hey. hey. <sighs> nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. 
Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? <sighs> you really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. Okay. Let's start talking with you, take a picture. Grimmel the survivor. Yay! We're just gonna head out here. The reason I'm taking a picture of that is for two reasons. One, the PP sticker, and then two, it's actually relevant later in the game. So I'm going to keep that after going into my picture viewer. So obviously since this is the first episode, there's a lot yes, of cutscenes, things like that. So it's a bit slow going in the beginning, but hopefully soon it'll kick off quickly. So we want to make sure that we talk to Natalie first to recruit her as a survivor, and then we can follow me. make them follow us or make them go towards a goal. Uh, the 360 version, the AI for these things was absolute shit. I have no idea if it's the same or not in this game, hey, or this port, around? I should say. So there's the second survivor, and hug. Fantastic. Level up. Yeah. Life increase. Dang. Disappointed. So there's different things that you can get when leveling up. Either your attack, speed, life, stock, or throw, or a new skill. Uh, the way it works is that between like the range of, say, I think it was at levels 1 through 19, it has to give you a specific number of each level up. However, the order you get them is random. So I was hoping for a stock increase, but I got life instead. It's not the end of the world, but whatever. So now that we've gotten them to meet each other, we'll recruit Jeff as well. And then we'll just send them right over there. Okay, still a bit... W okay, that makes me worried for the AI. Yeah, 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 I'm right here. So... We'll just immediately drop these guys back off and give more experience for saving the survivors. And already another level up. Take a picture. Oh, well, I got a jump kick. Oh, no, zombie ride. Okay. I'm going to save here. Just because... The next section is very long, so... Oh, interesting, you can change slots. Okay. So it's a bit short, but I think I'm going to end the episode here. One thing I'm going to have to do, make sure I do is that I pause in between each portion for the outros, just because, again, we're on a time crunch. That's the main part of this game. One of the reasons why I like it so much is that... The challenge is making sure that you get everything done with the time constraints. And that's one of the reasons why I love it. So, 
very you got to do quite a bit of planning for how you do things until you know them until you know the plan then you just kind of repeat it rinse wash repeat i don't know i just love this game so excited but i am going to end the first episode off here and in the next episode uh we will be doing uh that 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 going down there we'll be doing a lot it'll be exciting so hope you guys enjoyed and i guess i will see you next time